the delicate balance and order in the universe. Other planets of the solar system are full of countless deadly dangers. In addition to such threats, you could never find even a bit of the beauties that we encounter in our world on those planets as you can see here. In space, there are lethal methane rainfalls, storms much fiercer when compared with Earth, black holes swallowing everything that comes near them, planets covered in dust clouds, winds twice as fast as the speed of sound, seas of acid, deadly gamma rays, and many other perils. Some of these horrors, like scenes from a movie at the cinema, are almost incomprehensibly terrifying. But for us, they're merely a visual show. That's because we're living in a world that is completely safe. We are so secure in our lives that we can even forget we are all moving through at a speed of thousands of kilometers per hour. Likewise, we also forget that there are countless safety measures protecting us from countless dangers that threaten us every second. There are unwavering laws, balances, and measures that envelop the Earth and the entire universe. from the universe's rate of expansion to our Earth's location in the Milky Way galaxy, from the spectrum of the sun's radiation to the viscosity of water, from the distance of the moon to the Earth to the ratio of the gases that form the atmosphere. Countless other such factors are just right for life to exist. Whichever law, principle, or physical constant in the universe we consider, we see that it could not have been brought to its current ideal state on its own, or through coincidence. The recent years, cosmologists and theoretical physicists began to call this mind-blowing order that spawns necessary conditions for human life fine-tuning. Concentrating on this subject, they discovered or calculated countless examples of fine-tuning throughout the universe. It's appropriate here to quote some of these scientists' expressions of astonishment and wonder over the results of their research. NASA astronomer Professor John O'Keefe. We are by astronomical standards a pampered, cosseted, cherished group of creatures. If the universe had not been made with the most exacting precision, we could never have come into existence. It is my view that these circumstances indicate the universe was created for man to live in. British astrophysicist Professor George F. Ellis 
Amazing fine-tuning occurs in the laws that make this complexity possible. Realization of the complexity of what is accomplished makes it very difficult not to use the words miraculous. British astrophysicist Professor Paul Davies, the laws of physics seem themselves to be the product of exceedingly ingenious design. The universe must have a purpose. British mathematician Professor Roger Penrose, I would say the universe has a purpose. It is not there just somehow by chance. All the scientific data obtained to date shows that there is no room in the universe for chance or coincidence anywhere or at any time. Astronomy Dictionary Are telescopes a kind of time machine? Light travels at around 300 million meters a second. However, the distance to the stars is so astoundingly vast that it takes the light from the stars hundreds or even thousands of years to reach us. In other words, when we look at the stars, we are not seeing them in their current state. Instead, it's like we are seeing a photograph of them published in an out-of-date newspaper left in a letterbox. The more powerful the telescope, the further back in history it is possible to gaze. For example, the light from the Andromeda galaxy began its journey to us 2.5 million years ago, but we can only observe it right today, and the light reaching us today from the brightest quasars is from 2 billion years ago. On the screen is an image of the massive star cloud, the Lagoon Nebula as it was during the time of the pyramids. That is, as if the photograph was taken of it during that time. To look at it another way, what we are observing right now is how the nebula was thousands of years ago. 